that plump ear. Look at that thing. This is crazy. I can't even watch these. It's oh <laughs> my god, it's so crazy. Uh, this How was could you do when, that to uh, yourself? This was back when you only had 15 second Instagram clips too, by the way. So I had 15 seconds to do this. Ah, uh, this got what? What was it? 1.7 million views on YouTube back it then. Did, man. Oh man, that drained. That is drained, empty. So crazy. And I've got needles in my locker. If anybody needs them for their <laughs> ears, I always offer them to people. Uh, <laughs> I was going through the comments, and one of them was like, "That looked too easy for him." <laughs> I had done it quite a few times up to that point. Yeah, and in fact, I think I did it quite a few times before realizing, like, this would be popular online. <laughs> I should film this. <laughs> Like I, I got kicked in the ear um, in one of the jujitsu matches. Uh, I feel it. it. It's in there. I uh, this was a couple weeks ago. It was actually uh, Ryan when me and Ryan were rolling. Ryan uh, Valentine. Yeah, yeah. When he brought his, he was trying to bring his leg over, kicked me right in the head. I had a like a, it was bruised on the inside. And I have these like little nubs that I've picked up over the time, but I've yeah. never puffed out. Never blown it up. Yeah. Right. Whether it's like my ear folds and flops and just kind of rolls with everything. They say yeah. that it's like impacts that really do it. Right. But even with impacts, I've just, I've had bruising, but it, it's never Impacts puffed. or those real strong right. rubs, man. Like, like I got my first one when I was a white belt two months into jujitsu yeah. and it blew up uh, uh, doing no gi only. Because uh, all the time that I had spent wrestling, I wore headgear. Yeah. Right? So, you know, I never got it then. But, yeah, within two months of training, I, I blew up my right ear. Okay? And now this one was my left ear. And this video was, like, two months after I got my black belt. Yeah. So it's as if yeah. it's as if uh, when I started out, nature was like, you're halfway tough. <laughs> we'll make you halfway. Right? Two months in, it's like, all right, yeah. thank you. It's like I got a stripe from nature. Yeah. Um, and then it's like, but wait till your black belt for the second one. And that's, yeah, exactly. Got my black belt, got my second cauliflower ear. Uh, it's a badge of honor. I've, I've always expected to get some. And like I said, I have those little nubs if you feel, but you can't see it. You're going to get it less if your game is different. Yeah. My game is wrestler heavy, or at least it was, you know, for the most part. It's been that for the majority of my career. Wrestler pressure heavy. I grind. I, I tell people that, that uh, you know, you have, you know, five limbs, including your, your head. Like your neck, from your neck up is a limb. Use it. Like yep. I use my head like it's a weapon. Posting, you know, framing, posting, everything. absolutely yeah. driving, especially finishing double legs. Your ear is hitting their hip, yeah. driving through. You know, but like you said, it only takes one good blast. I met, I remember running into a guy at Costco, big old ugly ear, and I was standing behind him in line. I was like, oh, "All right, man, where do you train?" And he's like, "Huh?" He literally didn't know what I was talking about. I was like, well, "Your ear," and he goes, "Oh, I I took a kickboxing class six years ago, one head kick." He goes, "I didn't even finish the class. I left because it was already blown up." He goes, "I never trained again." Like you said, <laughs> at that point, you have to stick with it. Yeah, you can't have be, that and not be good at yeah, kickboxing your jiu-jitsu. It's gonna be ugly. Yeah. <laughs> Man, uh, let's talk about headgear. So the, yeah. so the soft headgear, I don't mind rolling with somebody, but if they have that hard plastic, they I, I've rolled with people who use it as a weapon. Like they pressure they, with. They it. literally are grinding that thing. If you're That's wearing kind of cheap, yeah. yeah. If you're wearing headgear, I get it. You're trying to keep your ears safe, but don't use it. Right. Exactly. It's kind of like if you're wearing a a, a cup. Yeah. And you're, and you're right. getting that arm bar like to go on, off the, the, side. on the yeah. cup to yep. you get that ultimate leverage, right? It's like, yeah, you, you shouldn't necessarily use it. I get wearing it too, of yeah. course, but but to me it's uh it's you're you're gonna you're gonna get stuck in guillotines. Like that it's hard to pop out of triangles yeah. and guillotines and whatnot when you're wearing headgear anyway. So it's uh, I've never liked it. I've never liked training with somebody because it's a lot of them have like a hard plastic shell, right? And yeah, no, totally. That thing starts banging on across your head or something when you're. It, it's rough. Right. And the reason why the person is wearing it is because they hurt their ears from banging their head yeah, on people. Yeah, exactly. And they're not going to stop doing that part. Yeah. So now they're just using, like you said, a, a basically a weapon. <laughs> now I'm at a higher risk of cuts and things because exactly, we've right. introduced plastic, which hard you know, plastics not even allowed in competition for it, a reason. Yeah, mm -hmm. all of our training gear is soft. We've taken out all the zippers from all the training. Right. Right, and right. buttons and everything, but here comes this dude with two giant plastic <laughs> giant earmuffs plastic on. Dude, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then there was one other video uh, that you posted on Facebook. It went kind of crazy. Um, pretty it? hilarious. Yeah, what a terrible hotel room. Michael went oh, to a jiu-jitsu competition. This. Not huge. I'll take it. Yeah, 
we didn't we didn't spend top dollar for our <laughs> motel, not a hotel. But it came with great amenities. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Complimentary. Complimentary. Heroin. Loaded. <laughs> Fully loaded. That is insane. <laughs> Fully loaded. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> my my first thought was like <laughs> Like crackheads, like they do everything they can to get that. Why? Why did they just leave? No, that what that happened. Was, that did they pass out? Something happened. They must have had. Did a they bail. die? <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I think somebody. I think it was just they forgot, right? And then they when they remember, they were probably like, "No, where's my loaded <laughs> syringe?" Right? I couldn't believe when I saw that. Oh. I left it there for the next guy. 